hire a professional. <laughs> Welcome to the swag. Today I'm going to show you how I transformed my dungeon storage from this into this. So for a while now, I've been wanting to do something with my old dungeon storage. Paint has been chipping and flaking and fading out, and it just makes the RV look dingy. Even though this is a 1999 bounder, it doesn't have to look like one. So I went on the old YouTubes to find out what some of you folks did to spruce up your dungeon storage. And I saw a lot of really, really great ideas. So I formulated a plan and it goes something like this. So first of all, I had to sand down the dungeon storage. The second step was to clean all the dust and debris off of it. Third step was to tape it off to make sure I didn't get any overspray and only got paint on the areas I wanted. Fourth step was to do the painting. Here we go. All right, so what I'm doing today is the first step of getting these bay doors painted, and that is sanding. It's gonna be dusty. So I've got my sander, I got my sandpaper. We're using a 320 rig because we're just knocking the sheen off a little bit. So stay tuned. Now there are a couple areas like this where the paint's in a little bit rougher shape. So yeah, I'm probably gonna hit that with something a little heavier than the 320 grit just to knock it down. Then we'll go back over with the 320. See how this works. Oh yeah, much better. Much better. Woo. All right, so we got all the sanding done. It took about two days. All right, so now the next thing I gotta do is wash this beast. I gotta get all the sanding powder and all that stuff off of it before we paint it. All right, good morning everybody. It is the morning of the painting and I still have quite a bit of work to do. I still have to put up a plastic cover for any overspray that we might get. I'm gonna show you what I did here yesterday and the issue that we had. So yesterday I thought I'd get ahead of the game and uh, do a little uh, fine taping. But as you can see, we had some storms come through last night. It got rainy, so some of that stuff fell off. So, um, I'm gonna have to go back around here before I start taping up the big stuff. I also gotta let things dry out a bit because the RV's all wet and a lot of moisture. You can hear water dripping all over the place, but fortunately not too bad, but I got things like this that I gotta go back and tape over, so. All right, so TJ is our professional painter extraordinaire. What are your thoughts on this project? Come on, don't hold back. Hire a professional. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now you tell me. Now you tell me. All righty, so we got the RV all taped up, just about ready to go. Before you know it, this whole bottom section is going to be refurbished, brand new. 
So I want to explain a little bit the kind of paint we used and the approach we took. So some folks were just recommending using rattle cans and clear coat and all of that. Others recommended actually going to an auto paint store and have them mix up something for me. I took the advice of my brother who is a professional painter, granted house painter, but he suggested that I use the Sherwin-Williams DTM, and that stands for Direct to Metal. Apparently it sticks to everything, and I would only need a couple coats of that, I wouldn't have to clear coat it, it should hold up to the weather. So we're going to achieve that perfect automotive finish. <laughs> and we're using house paint? Making a mess. Nah, they should make stuff. DTRV, direct to RV. All right, folks, we got the first coat of paint on this side and already it looks a million percent better. Had a couple little glitches with water because it rained last night, so there's still water creeping out. You see, it's another coat's gonna go on here, so that was the first coat. You do a light first coat. Looking good, though. So it's been about three weeks since I painted the dungeon storage and I gotta tell you, I cannot be happier with it. The paint's holding up great, no scratches, no dings. I even have one place on this door where I opened the slide up into the water pole when I relocated and it barely even scratched it. This paint seems like it's holding up really, really good. Now, to the average person who's looking at the RV, they probably wouldn't notice the difference, but I do. It really takes about 10 or 15 years off the age of the RV. I think my next big project is going to be sprucing up these decals, so I've seen some tutorials on how to do that, and I'll keep you guys posted. Super big thanks to my brother TJ who helped me out with this project. I couldn't have done it without him. Check him out at Brush Up Painting, Vero Beach, Florida. I guess I probably owe him a bottle of Peach Crown now. And as always, folks, please like and subscribe below. Thanks for tuning in.